when I became chairman, I made a, a statement that I would restructure the Tata Group into a lesser number, rationalize them into a lesser number of businesses. Uh, it made more uh, synergetic stra uh, sense. And uh, one of the first uh, decisions I, I made was how to get divest ourselves of some of the areas which were no longer relevant in our uh, thinking. One was uh, toiletries, soaps, and so on. And the other was textiles. We were doing badly in both those. We seemed to have lost our position. The managements that we had in place uh, didn't seem to uh, know where they were going. In the case of soaps, which, which in a way was something my father had built over the years as a, the first Indian soap company to fight Unilevers, uh, I set about trying to see what we could do to divest ourselves of this. And the most sensible thing appeared to be to sell it to Unilevers and merge it into their operations because it would give uh, the shareholders a secure share, a Unilever share, which had value. We were able to negotiate a standalone agreement with Unilever. They wouldn't retrench anybody for three years. They wouldn't change our distribution channels or suppliers. For, everything was standstill for three years. So it seemed like a very dignified and everybody, there's a plus-plus kind of situation. So we did it. And the flack I got uh, as a reaction from the public, from the shareholders, from our own employees, you, you, this new guys come along and change uh, lifelong employment. They pushed these people out. Some were second generation, the stock market took a bad view on, on, on this. The Unilever stock went down in India. And that, I'm afraid, was the end of my restructuring because I didn't have the courage to take on another, another uh, task of that nature. Textiles took care of itself because the government nationalized most of the textile mills and ours went with that. So that would be an area that went negatively.